Hello all, we will simulate a triple five timer in a stable mode in LT Spice. So before doing that simulation, one has to understand the functionality of uh, the triple five timer in a stable mode so that the simulation results can be easily understood. Now we all know that triple five timer is a timing IC which generates uh, output waveforms based on our requirement, right? So this triple five timer can be used in two modes. One is mono stable and second one is a stable. So we are going to talk about a stable mode. So the, the circuit you see here is, a, is in a stable mode where you have one section this particular section which is called a comparator section so comparator is nothing but uh, one of the application of op amp where how it is going to function is if the input on the positive that means non-inverting terminal is greater than the inverting terminal then it produces a high output high means um, 5 volts or whatever we are operating so here it is 9 volts so basically you will have 9 volts output and then if the input at non-inverting terminal is greater than uh, inverting terminal is greater than non-inverting terminal then the output goes low that means zero so depending on the voltages of inverting and non-inverting and inverting terminals the output of the uh, a comparator is decided so that is one of the section in this uh, triple five timer and then in the second section we have something called flip-flop which is rs flip-flop set reset flip-flop so which generates either zero or one as a output here okay we can reset this flip-flop anytime using the reset pin and then the third section is called uh, amplifier section or uh, you can also say it's a buffer section so out of which you will get the output here okay there are three sections basically uh, and apart from this there is an input section where you give the trigger now first thing first why does we call it a triple five timer because it has five k resistors which is used three times here here and here that is why it's basically called a triple five so this is internal to the triple five timer so user doesn't have access to it so it's when you get a triple five timer you get five, three five k resistors inside and then the entire operation of this flip-flop uh, of this triple five timer is controlled by using these pins threshold and trigger pins so how does they control so if you see here this this brown mark this brown mark is the ic and then outside this ic we have a rc network with two resistors connected in series r1 r2 and c1 and <coughs> based on the charging of this particular capacitor the output of the uh, s table um, multi vibrator is determined basically the triple five timer in a stable mode uh, operation is determined now initially when you power up this particular uh, ic that means when you give nine volts slowly the capacitor starts charging so at the time initially it will be zero here that means this will be zero volts right and this also will be zero volts so when this is zero volts and when this is one by three vcc that means this particular non-inverting terminal voltage is higher than inverting terminal that means this will be high right okay and then here we have zero and inverting terminal voltage is higher that means this will be low so when set is high reset is low that means the output will be high so that means when the capacitor is charging the output here will be seen as high 
okay now when when this uh, uh, this output goes low when this goes low right when does this go low basically when reset becomes high then this particular uh, um, flip flop output becomes low when does this become high when the voltage on this particular pin the non inverting terminal goes greater than 2 by 3 vcc that means when the capacitor charges above 2 by 3 vcc right because this capacitor charge is being applied to the non inverting terminal when this goes above 2 by 3 vcc the output goes low at this instant okay so if we if we redraw this here so initially it will be high and then it goes low okay now when this goes low this particular transistor this is called a discharging transistor will be on and <coughs> the output here okay so we, we should say high here not here so when this transistor is turned on that means this will be high here and this will be low here okay so when this particular transistor is turned on that means this section will be grounded so when this section is grounded that means this entire point from here to here is grounded okay so the capacitor now sees a ground path through this and starts discharging rather than getting charged through this voltage okay now um, what happens is uh, the <coughs> capacitor starts discharging as the capacitor starts discharging uh, at a specific level as it comes down at uh, 1 by 3 when this particular charging voltage becomes lesser than 1 by 3 vcc at a particular level right 1 by 3 vcc this particular uh, negative voltage uh, uh, sorry input on the uh, inverting terminal goes lower than uh, the non inverting terminal and this particular pin goes uh, uh, high again so when this goes high again uh, we know um, <clears throat> so this will be low always uh, when set goes high again the signal goes high so this is how a um, waveform will be generated at the output of this triple phi timer so the entire operation of this triple phi timer depends on charging and discharging of this capacitor when the voltage on this capacitor exceeds 2 by 3 vcc the output becomes low when the output falls below 1 by 3 VCC, the output becomes high. So, depending on how you select the capacitor, how you select R1 and R2, it is going to determine the time period of this particular um, output of this triple phi timer output, um, which is in a stable mode. Okay, so this is the simple operation uh, and for a designer, right, um, it is basically the selection of R1, R2 and C1 which determines the time period at the input. Now, we will look at the LT spice and see the circuit um, with the IC, a triple phi timer IC used and how it is behaving. This is a LT spice uh, circuit and uh, you can see here um, this is the IC which is present. So for the guys who are con who are confused where uh, any triple phi, triple phi timer is in the library, click on the parts and uh, you can select NE triple phi and you can see automatically it gets selected. In case if you don't want to select, you want to know where this particular part is, um, go to the parts and you can go to miscellaneous and you can find any triple phi and you can place it in your circuit as per your requirement. Okay, now um, this is placed and we can see uh, we have used R1 
R2 and C1. Uh, one is uh, a 3K resistor, another is 3K, and uh, we have used 0 0.01 microfarad. Um, so, um, <coughs> As we see here, the trigger and threshold pins are shorted and it is given to the control voltage, which is uh, uh, the capacitor voltage. So if we see here, the formulas, uh, the high voltage of uh, uh, the output waveform is determined by um, the time period, basically. Uh, high time of the IC is determined by 0 0.7 into Rea plus Rb into C. Whereas low time is determined uh, by using 0 0.7 into Rb into C. So using Rea, Rb, Rc, we determine the amplified um, <coughs> timer uh, uh, operation. We can also do basically uh, T high plus T low to uh, combine uh, the time period. And then when you do 1 by T high plus T low, we get the frequency. Or if you want to calculate the frequency directly, basically the formula is 1.44 by Ra plus 2 Rb to C. This is the um, calculation for um, the output frequency of the uh, five timer. And uh, as we have seen in the um, beginning, 2 by 3 VCC is the threshold uh, uh, for the upper op amp and 1 by 3 VCC is the threshold uh, for the lower op amp. And we have used 5 volts input, which is a DC input, which is provided ground. Uh, we are connected to ground and then output, we just have a pull up of 10k and uh, uh, we are giving uh, um, <coughs> reset continuously and VCC we have given uh, 5 volts here. So this is a circuit and um, let us uh, try to simulate this and see the output. So um, let us try to probe on V out and so this is uh, transient analysis which is done. Uh, for a period of one second and you can see uh, the output here which is a um, waveform basically a square wave with uh, <coughs> a, a different duty cycle it's not a 50 percent duty cycle uh, so um, you can see the waveform low and high so the charge time during the charge time you, we can also probe uh, the capacitor uh, uh, charging and discharging so you can see here as described initially when the capacitor is charging uh, and uh, it goes beyond the 2 by 3 vcc so 2 by 3 vcc of 5 volts is 3.33 volt you can see around 3.33 volt um, the, the output has gone low and the capacitor started discharging uh, at uh, as it has gone up to 1 by 3 vcc so 5 by um, 3 is around 1.3, uh, uh, 1.6, right, something, and uh, you can see around 1.6, um, the <coughs> uh, output has gone high, and correspondingly, again, capacitor started charging, capacitor started discharging, so based on capacitor charging and discharging timings, the output high and low are maintained. So if we vary uh, the timing components, uh, as we talked here, as we see here, uh, if we vary Ra, Rb, C, we can change the frequency. And if we vary Rb, that means this capacitor, this resistor, we can change the low value. Um, and uh, if we change Ra, we can change the high value. So, depending on variation of uh, um, the high and low uh, voltages. <coughs> high and uh, RA and RB uh, values, we can determine the output frequency. So a simple circuit, um, but needs a little bit of understanding of how a comparator works, how an SR flip-flop works. Uh, so uh, as we talked initially, right, with the SR flip-flop, uh, uh, be clear when it goes high and when it goes low. There might be a little confusion there uh, generally for the designers. Hope we gave a glimpse of uh, a stable multi vibrator. Please post your uh, questions if you have any, um, mm -hmm. and uh, please like and um, this video and subscribe to our channel. Way to thank you.